Evening everybody, Rich here, back for part 6 of this RMS Queen Mary tutorial. Uh, today's focus will be the promenade deck superstructure, which which will include the inside walls and the uh, outside long windows. Uh, and that will all support the sun deck, or the boat deck, whichever you want to call it, but uh, that will all be for today. So what we're going to do is go down to the front wall of the deck we built in the previous video. So the top deck we have here, we go to the front wall of it, which is this straight wall here. And wait for the game to catch up because of the lag. And what we're going to do is go down to the centre block, which is this one here. Uh, and we're going to count on the wood to the seventh block, no, the eighth block back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And on that eighth block, we build. So it's a seven block gap basically on the wood. So you build on the eighth block of the, yeah, the eighth block back. And then what you're going to do is build this wall. Uh, seven wide, so that's uh, one, two, three that way, and one, two, three that way. Uh, I'm just going to put a coloured block in the middle, so that, can, that marks the centre, so it's three other side of the centre, like so, and I'm going to work on the left hand side as per usual, so once you're on the, once you've done that row of seven, you're going to want to build a row of five, one, two, three, four, five, and then two rows of four, one, two, three, three, four, one, two, three, four, so it's five, four, four, and then you want two rows of three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then you want five rows of two, so one, one, two, three, four, five. And then you want two back. And then you want uh, three back, one, two, three. And then there's three out, one, two, three, like that. So that's the diameter, like that. So I'll do the same the other side to get the curve right. So I do the same the side, so it's five, one, two, three, four, five. And then uh, four, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and three, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then five rows of two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and then two back, and then three back, one, two, three, and then three out, one, two, three, and that is the front curve of that section there. All right. So what you want to do now is just increase that to five high. So I'll uh, work on the left and. Uh, copy it to the other side so increase it all to five high what we just built so that's one two three four five I'll try and do this as quick as I can freehand at least Problem of doing it freehand, you make more mistakes. In case you haven't noticed, uh, but we're getting there, and that's the row of five there, and then up to the centre. Right, so that's half of the walls complete. So I'm just going to copy them to the other side. Saves a bit of time, so I'll copy from the outside to the centre line down here. To there, and we we'll do copy, flip to the right, and then paste. There we go. That's both sides done. So there's the wall increased in height there, and it should look something like that. Right. So now we're going to move on to the sides, which is the overhang basically, which we built in uh, part five, I think. Uh, so what we're going to do is, on the top of the outside edge, on top of the overhang, you're just going to add another line of blocks the full length of the overhang all the way to the very end so basically just add a single line all the way down the side like I say all the way to the end now just a single line and then on top of that line would be where the windows go so the window layout is complicated and repetitive but we shall do that in a moment so just get this line out of the way it basically just creates a barrier and where are we we're on the, we're on the outside edge so we're nearly halfway and remember, everything you do on the left, you do the same on the right, so get cracking. <laughs> there we go, and then down the next rows. And then down the next row. So like I said, all the way to the end of the overhang. And we're not far away, where are we? We're nearly, we're not quite, not quite there. And 
there we go, there's the end of the overhang there. So don't worry about going across. We'll sort that out later on with with the uh, iron bars. But once you get to the end of the overhang, it should look something like that. So the, the, the overhang now is three blocks high. So that's that. And we've got this ridiculous shadow here, which is annoying as hell, but it's gone now. But it will come back. But anyway, that's the overhang sorted. You do the same on the other side as well. But so what I'm going to do, I'm going to fly to the front end. And I'm going to restart the game because it's lagging like hell. So uh, I should do a jump cut when I do that. But uh, we'll get to the front end. And then we'll uh, start with the uh, window. So that's how it should look at the moment. But like I say, do the other side. And then I shall uh, come back in a moment. So uh, jump cut time. Okay, back again. Now I've uh, restarted the game. So what we're going to do now is move on to the windows, and we're going to go to the very front end of the overhang, so at the front of the ship, of course. Got the overhang here, and what we're going to do is leave a four-block gap. So the windows, what we're going to be building, are two blocks high with a slab on top. Um, and I'll actually get the slabs one I need. So we need the window there, the glass, uh, quartz slabs, and the quartz blocks. Uh, put them there. So I need the glass slabs and the quartz blocks. So uh, what we're going to do is the windows will be in groups, and between each group there is a three-block gap, which is basically three white blocks, which is three high. But uh, I'll explain as we get there. So from this first pillar here, which is on the front end of the overhang, we're going to add our three uh, pillar, our three gaps. So one, two, three, like that. One, two, three. One, two, three. So it's three high. Three by three. So it's nine blocks basically. Then we add our first set of windows, which is six windows. So there's going to be six windows separated by one. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. That's six windows there like that. Got to take into account where the, the ship gets wider as well. So just leave a, a gap like that. And then add the slabs on top. So that's six windows. And then fill in the gaps in between. Three high. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So there we go. There's the first six windows. And then we leave a three gap, which is one, two, three. Three. One, two, three. Like so. So it's three by three. I remember taking into account that the uh, ship gets wider. So it looks like four, but it's really three in length. And then we add uh, three windows. So one, two, one, two, one, two. So three windows, two blocks high, plus the slabs on top. And then the gaps filled in between. And then another three gaps. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, like that. So that's the first six and first three. And then what we want to do is uh, add eight windows. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we can put that window there actually. So it gets on the corner there. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we add the slabs, and then the blocks in between. And then finally the three at the end, so one, two, three, one, three, one, two, three. And there we go, that's the eight. And then we move on to the next one, which is another three block gap. Well, which we is we just added the three block gap. So then we want uh, three windows. So we go one, two blocks high. That's one window, two, three, slab, 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 and then pillar in between. And I change my notes again. And then we want uh, a three block gap again, and then eight windows. So we go one, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight. Slabs again. And we put that window behind there as well, may as well. And then the slabs, uh, the blocks in between. So we go, that's that row of eight there. Oop, and then we want another three gap. So we go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then we add three windows. So one, two, three, slab, 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 pillar, pillar. And then we move on again to the next row, uh, which is three gap again. So we go one, two, three, one, two, three, two, three, like that. And then we add uh, eight windows again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
and then the slabs in between so one two three four five six seven eight or slabs on the top I mean and then the pillars in between like so and I'm just going to count back to see how many groups of eight I've done because my notes are just falling on the floor and I've lost where I'm going so um Alright, so that's a uh, group of eight, 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 so that's eight, 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 so I'm under the fourth row again, so bear with me a second. Alright, so bear with me, um, right, so now we're on to the next section, which is uh, a group of three, um, not a group, uh, a gap of three, so one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, like that. And then we want three windows again, so uh, one, two, and then we go one, one two one two so it's a single well, two pillars of windows there because of on the corner and then the slabs on the top and then the pillars in between like so and then we want uh, uh, another gap again so one two three one two three one two three apologies if this is a very messy how I'm doing this but I'm reading notes which have fallen on the floor and I can't read my handwriting so um, yeah it's not that good anyway after that group there we want another row of eight windows so one two three four five six seven eight plus the slabs and then the pillars in between So now I'll change my notes again, and then we want the three gap again. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then the windows again. Three windows. One, two, three, plus the slabs, plus the pillars in between, like so. And then we move on to our next row, which is under the three gap, of course. So we go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then eight windows again, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then the slabs on the top. And then the pillars in between. Like so, and then we want another three gap. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then the three windows again, so one, two, one, two, one, two plus the slabs, slab, 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 and then pillar, pillar. And then of course, the three gap. So one, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then eight windows again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus the slabs, and then the pillars, it's getting very repetitive, but we're getting there. How far along are we? We're about. Well, we're getting there. We're at the end of the uh, overhead, or well, the end of the uh, outside edge, anyway. So that's that row of eight there, and then we want again, uh, again the three by three. So three spacer again, and then three windows. Window, window, window. Slab, slab, slab. Pillar, and pillar. And then it's another three gap again. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then eight windows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then the slabs. And then the pillars. Like so. And I change my notes again. And then we want. You guessed it, another three by three, so three by three plus three windows. One, two, three, slab, 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 plus the pillar and the pillars. And then I change my notes again. And then we want another three gap. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then eight more windows. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight plus the slabs and then the pillars. Keep demolishing the wrong thing. 
face that window. <sighs> yeah, as it says, it's, it's very repetitive, but it's also very frustrating when you can't read your handwriting. But anyway, that's that one. And now we want again another three by three gap. So three, three, three. Uh, plus three windows, so one, two, three, slab, 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 pillar, pillar, and then we want another three gap, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then another eight windows, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight slabs, and then the pillars in between. Um, and then at the end we want another 3 by 3 1, 2, 3 1, 2, 3 1, 2, 3 and fill in the gap around the back as well and then another 3 windows 1, 2, 3 slab, slab, slab pillar and pillar and then again you guessed it, another 3 gap one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, plus eight more windows, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then the slabs, and then the pillars, like so, and then the next one we want to go and add another three by three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, plus three windows, so one, two, three, slab, 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 pillar and pillar, and then another three by three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and another eight windows, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus the slabs, and then the pillars in between, like so. Okay, apologies there, just had to restart the game because it went into seizure mode, but uh, anyway, that's the row of eight you just see me built, so that was the last one I think, so that should be the eleventh group of eight blo uh, eight windows, uh, so that's that one there, so after that we want, um, what do we want, what, a row of three, so, or the gap of three, so three by three by three, and then we want the three windows, so one, two, one, two, and one, two, so that's three windows there, plus the slabs on top, and then the pillars in between, like so, and then uh, the three gap again, so one, two, three, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, and then we want two windows, <coughs> pardon me, so we go one window, two windows, like so, and then the slabs on top, and then the pillar in between, so that's those two windows there. And then lastly, we want uh, the, the three gaps. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And that should be all the windows in place there. So like I said, there's 11 groups of eight windows. So if you've got these, these groups, just count them along the side. If you've got eight of those, plus the three, two at the end, you should be fine. So no, 11, yeah, 11 groups of eight. Yeah, 11, if you've got 11 groups of them, plus the three, two at the end, you should be fine. So 11 groups of eight windows. So just, just count that as you go along. Anyway, that's the windows all added there, and I'm just looking across over there, and I have added a centre block, so that does line up with that centre block in the middle there, so that's fine. So the next job you want to do is just add the line of blocks along the top of all the windows, all the way forward to the front wall. So a line along the top of all the windows, and then the windows will look a lot better like that. So we just do the same thing, or the, add the line along the top, all the way along the side, so all the way to the front. And it's another one of those wonderfully mundane jobs that nobody likes doing, but it has to be done. And I could do it with World Edit, but no, I mean, I'll screw it up. So, And I don't want to crash the game again, so that would be an even bigger disaster. Anyway, it's no biggie. Doing things by hand. 
So we're out. We were along the outside edge, so we're nearly there. I'm going to sneeze in a minute, which really doesn't help. Oh, I've gone too far. No, that's fine. So now we're curving back in again. Should be nearly there. Yep, one more row to go. And there we go, up to the front end there, like that. So there we are. There, that's all done there. Windows are all covered, and they should look something like that. And uh, they don't look too bad, do it? So that's that little job there. So you want to do the same thing on the other side, which is also very mundane, but got to be done. So I'll do that later on. But I'm going to go to the back end now. So I'm going to go to the back end of the windows, all the way down the back end of the. Uh, area we just built and we're going to build the inner walls now. Now the inner walls are on another page of my notepad so uh, let's change that and work out what, uh, what I'm supposed to do now. So before we add the inner walls first what we're going to do is go to the very end of the outside wall we just built. So they've got this uh, the two windows there and then the group of three there. The top block up here, this one here, we're going to build a line of blocks inwards uh, a row of nine, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's inwards, and then down four. One, two, three, four, like that. And that is where the in the uh, inner walls will start. So you got a, an archway basically from the outside wall in and down. So there we go. So now for the inside walls, they're in uh, line, so they sort of follow the contours of the outside edge. So they curve outwards and then back in again towards the uh, front. So um, what you're going to do is from this first pillar you're going to want to go 11, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, so that was three 15s. And then you want uh, 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And then 17, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Uh, and I think 17 again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Uh, and then 18, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. <sighs> and then you want a long line of 88. So that's the first block there. And you just build a line of 88 blocks. So I shall do this freehand and then I'll measure it when I get to the end. And things should be easy. So how far is that? That's 61. And that is 91, so I've gone too far. Three, remove three, that's 88. So there we go, that's the line of 88. And then we're going to curve back inwards again. So once you get to the end of the 88, you want to build 22. So uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2. So that's 22. And then 19, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And then 17, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And then 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And there we go, that is the end of the inside wall. So you've got this long corridor down the edge, down the side there like that. And then the next, the next thing you want to do is increase all those walls to four blocks high. So I shall do a couple, so three blocks high. And then, well, I did it, so set quartz. 
And like I said, I'll do a couple and then I'll do a jump cut because I cannot be bothered to do all this on camera. Or in video, or whatever you want to call it. Oh, hang on, removed it. Didn't mean to do that. So I'll, I'll go up to the outside edge and then I'll jump cut for the rest. And it should all look fine when it's done. There we go, and then up to there. And the outside edge, I'll do this, and like I said, I'll do a jump cut and uh, we can move on. So, um, down to there. Alright, so that's the uh, outs half of it done so I'm just going to do a jump cut while I uh, fill in the uh, fill in the rest of it and what I'll do I'll also copy these windows to the other side so I'll get the other side done as well and then we can move on to the next job so um, back in a moment okay back again I've just finished increasing the height of those walls on the inside there so like I said I'm just going to uh, copy paste the other side and get that out of the way and uh, then we can move on to the next job so drop down to the front end here copy to that and then we go copy flip to the right and then paste and I think that's all copied it's sort of still spawning over there right so now we've got the uh, two inner walls up to the point there and then what you want to do is just join them together across the front like so creating the front wall it's not accurate to the real ship, I mean it's sort of more of a curved wall in here, but I just do a rough design. And then increase that wall to four high. Uh, like so, and that's that front wall done there. And then what we're going to do is fly to the back edge. You can see you've got the windows on both sides now, so the uh, ship is taking shape. And just fly down to the back end, and then what we're going to do is uh, extend the walls. Uh, well, the, the, the deck of the ship's got to be extended further back a bit. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to work on the left hand side. So, the back end of the windows on the left hand side. We're going to extend the top line here. Uh, no, the bottom line. So, we're going to go to the bottom. And we're going to extend inwards by two. So, two blocks there like that. And then uh, three back. So, one, two, three. And then in four. One, two, three, four. So, it sort of zigzags. Two in, three back, four out. Or four in, um, and then back 21. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1. So it's 21 there, like that. And I'll do the same on the other side. So it's extend 2 in, 1, 2, 3 back, and then 1, 2, 3, 4 in. Just double check that. So it's 2 in, 3 back, 4 out. And then 21, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1. 21 like that. And then join them together across the back. Like so. So that is the deck extended like that. And then what you want to do is increase the height of that to 5 high. So these walls around the edge, increase them to 5 high. So I shall use freehand and then weld it at the rest. So up to there. Set quartz. Down to the end, then across the back, and then up the other side. And there we go, that's those walls done there. So that's the back section increase there. And as you can see from the uh, overhanging archway here, you got the, this is where the deck will go. The deck will go along this top line, but on this side, of course. The deck will go in this area here. And it will sit on top of the inside wall, so that's that, that little bit done there. And then, um, I think that's it. So what we need to do now is just add the deck. So, like I said, the deck will go on top of the inside walls here all the way forward. So I'll go about I don't know, a third of the way, and then I'll use the fill tool. So we go fill wood by 300 and hopefully this will fill in the deck and uh, then we can move on to the next little jobby do 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 this may take a while because it's such a big deck bear with me there we go that's the deck 
added there and it's still spawning in some places it's done up that end I just fly to the front end to make sure it's all filled in up here and has it yep I think it has yeah the decks all filled in so that is the uh, that deck all done so we'll get in there and it uh, don't look too bad do it so that is that little section done so what I'm going to do is fly to the back end again and just make sure all the decks are in place and there's a dog barking outside which is really annoying uh, so what we're going to do now is add a few stairs so we'll go to the back end make sure it's all lined up nice and neat and uh, yeah, they don't look too bad right so what we're going to do now is from this back wall here we're going to go along the sides to the corner block here so you've got the archway there and you've got the uh, two in, three back, four in on the four in bit here on this corner block we'll remove that block there and we're going to add some stairs so we get stair blocks and put stairs in there and sloping down to the back there like that or down the back and then the banisters two up two up two up two up and then a block or two underneath and there's the stairs added there so I'll do the same on the other side so I remove that block and then put stairs 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 and stairs banisters two up two up two up and two up and then one two three underneath and that's those stairs there so that's our little job we've done and then for the stairs down on the next deck so the next deck below we go from the outside edge you've got the overhang here this point here so one block in from there which is this block we're going to count nine in from is it nine uh, uh, bear with me yeah the ninth block in so that's the first block two three four five six seven eight nine and we remove uh, a block and then another block behind and then we'll add the stairs from there so the stairs stairs there and then well stairs in there and then we're going to add st uh, block stairs block stairs and then another block and then stairs so your stairs look something like that and then the banisters two up two up two up two up two up two up like so so there's the stairs and then we add some white blocks either side of the top step so a white block there and a white block there and that's the stairs on that side so we'll do the same on the other side as well so it's the ninth block from this point so one two three four five six seven eight nine remove two blocks and then that one there and then stairs uh, block stairs block stairs block stairs block and stairs and then banisters two up two up two up and then two up two up two up and then remove that block and that block really loud motorbike just gone by block there and a block there and that's those stairs done and I think that pretty much covers it for that job but there's still plenty more to do and also on the inside on the inside walls which uh, we've just built these ones in here you can start adding the doors and windows to them uh, like on the previous deck I did show a brief diagram of five windows a pair of doors, five windows, a pair of doors and so on, you get the idea um, but the last job for today, I'm going to fly to the front end of the ship and what we're going to do is go to the front three blocks of the overhang, so the front section of the ship and go to the front of the overhang uh, the first three blocks, so I'll just find that so here we are, here's the overhang, the front the front uh, right corner of the overhang, so we've got the first three blocks here and we're going to extend them up so that they're already one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they're already seven blocks high. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you're just going to extend them up to 16. So the first three blocks extend up to 16. So that's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And do that for the next two rows. So it's 16 high in total. So I just measure it. So from the bottom up to the top and it is 16 so there we go and then on the 16th block at the top we just add another row a single line like that and that is the support for what will be the bridge wings but they'll be added later on so I'll do the same the other, hang on, before I do that on the front on the first block on the front block we just add another line up 
there like that. So that's that little section there. So it's uh, sort of an, from the top, it'd be sort of an L shape, sort of. So I'll do the same on the other side. So the first three rows, or the first three blocks of the overhang, I'll just make sure there's seven high. So it's from the bottom to the top, that's seven high. So 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And the same with the next two blocks. Like so. And then another row along the front. Or along the top, sorry. And then along the front, a single row again. Like that. And that is the support for the bridge wings. Doesn't look much at the moment, but when it's all done, it will look fine. And the ship is taking shape, but still missing a lot of detail so um, but we are cracking on but anyway that is it for this part so I'm just going to fly over to the prototype and you can see where the bridge wings go and there are two sets of these so there's the top bridge wings which are actually attached to the bridge and there's two wings below that which is more of a, a, a lookout thing for the um, passengers really so you got the, the bridge not the stands we just built there the two pillars or well, the pillar there bridge wing above that there and you got another wing underneath there like that so you can see support pillar there and then a wing there and a wing there so that is what those are for so that is that all done for part six so for part seven i think we'll do the boat deck superstructure or the sun deck superstructure my chair is really creaky sorry and i uh, maybe the bridge wings and the ship's wheelhouse but we'll see about that we're gonna get quite a bit of detail done but uh yeah i'm not gonna go too deep into all this but anyway, that is that. So that is uh, that would be for part seven. So that's, that's so this is it for part six. So part six is over. So this is Rich signing off, locking off, and disappearing. And I shall return in part seven. So um, bye for now.